What advice would you give to new advocates? Well, I think I'm young too, don't forget. <laughs> I think when it comes to opportunities for young people, I think there's a lot of uh, leadership training programs, um, being mentored by other managers. I think the issue is getting the information out there and getting the pathways known to young people. Sometimes it's about networking. It's about finding that right individual that can lead us and create those pathways. And it's really about identifying where those pathways are and what actually fits our role so we can develop that skills, that expertise and that knowledge and really grow as individuals doing professional development. I would encourage young people to really explore and think about the leaders in our community, be inspired by them, attend conferences like this. I would encourage young people to come here and find out more about those people in attendance. Don't sit back and wait to be asked. Be proactive. I would say being successful in their lives, just to make sure that you have been included. And even though they may have the same as us, disability, it doesn't mean they can't do things, but they actually can. And I stand up for people who have the lesson syndrome. But the thing is, we're all human, so don't break our vibe, because it's your vibe that they would see. Uh, I'd, I'd welcome, I'd say. Um, I'd tell them to take it slow. You don't have to get out there and change the world in one day, you're not going to. Take your time, focus on the thing that matters to you most. Find some other people who are also working that space because whatever you think you're doing, you're not the first one who's ever done it. Build some friends in the movement. There's plenty of us. Um, we're a very welcoming and generous community. So come along and, and be, part of the, be part of the party. Join the party. Um, but most of all, look after yourself. Respect yourself. Um, make sure that you do as much as you can, but also as disabled people, we need to remember that there are times when all of us step back, when we give ourselves the extra space and say, someone else can come in today. So you don't have to do all of it. You don't have to be the only one. Don't ever get isolated. Join the community, be part of the group, and give yourself the respect and the time and the downtime to make sure that you're in it for the long haul, because we want you to be in it for the long haul. My, my great passion for, for young people with disability is we need to see participation. We need to see people with disability in our schools, in our mainstream schools, in our, in our regular lives, and whatever that means. For some people, um, that's gonna mean participating by meeting a friend down the street or meeting a friend at their own house. In, in all, the, all the versions of participation that is, I want young people to grow up and go into a workplace and look around and say, where are the people with disability? That's, that's what we need. And, and that sort of participation, when people with disability have friends and uh, are not just in contact with disability support workers, that means we will have greater respect for people with disabilities. People with disabilities will be safer because they have a wider range of friends. And the quality of support work will be better. For more conference videos, visit our website at www.daru.org.au.